pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. The two elements of reality are awareness and beliefs. Awareness is everything that is within your reality and your belief system is what it all means or how it works for you. It is similar to your computer. Everything that you have stored in your computer is everything that it is aware of. This includes pictures, information, documents, songs, movies, etc. All of these items and information are within your computer's awareness. Your beliefs are the same as your computer's programs. With the programs in your computer, you can only look at certain pictures in certain ways. Some of you have the ability to edit your pictures and edit your songs and change them, and others of you can't make any of these alterations. Most of you have very similar normal abilities such as copying items from one place and pasting them in another, searching for items on your hard drives, moving them around, and other routine tasks. Some of you have the ability to communicate with other computers by the phone line or by using a flash drive or disk. That would be like conventional conversation between people. However, there are computers out there who can communicate with other computers in a telepathic way, or other words, wirelessly. It all depends on the programs you have, that is, it all depends on your beliefs on how things work that either enhances your reality or limits it. Let's cover a few of these terms and define them so that we are on the same page, so to speak. Awareness. Awareness is all that you are conscious of, all that you know of. This includes everything that you know, know of, and everything that you don't know. You might not know the speed of an electron, but you are aware of it. The boundaries of your awareness include everything except that which you don't know that you don't know. All of that you are unaware of. Awareness is all the data and information that you have. What you are aware of is everything that you have to work with. Awareness is about the subject. It is a function of your thoughts and beliefs and has nothing to do with how you feel about it, only that you believe that it exists and are thinking about it. While your overall awareness contains a multitude of things, your current awareness is that which is relevant at the moment. Your awareness has brought to notice everything that is relevant to you, whether you like it or not. If you like red cars and you look in a parking lot, you will see them all over the place. If you hate red cars and you look in a parking lot, you will see them all over the place. You are aware of or will become aware of everything that is relevant in your world, whether you like it or not. Knowing. Knowing is an unshakable and absolute feeling and confidence about the validity of a specific thing or specific information that is known. Knowing is the most powerful state possible. It is far more powerful than believing, which is only tentative knowing. Perception. Perception is awareness plus meaning or beliefs. It is said that the main difference between our view of a situation and a camera's view is that the camera only sees what is there and nothing more. However, we not only see what is there, but we perceive the meaning of it. A good example of the difference between awareness and perception is the placebo example in chapter 1, Your God Power. You may be aware that you are holding a pill in your hand, but what you think about it is how you perceive it. Do you perceive the pill as a cure and the situation as a positive one? Or do you perceive the pill 
as a useless effort in the situation as hopeless. Belief. Belief is a strong but tentative confidence in the validity of a specific thing or specific information. It is strong like wood, but knowing is concrete. Beliefs are the programs that dictate the meanings, abilities, rules, and parameters of your life experience. Beliefs control how that information is handled and how your life is experienced. Your beliefs didn't develop overnight, although they can be formed instantly. They have been developing ever since your conception and will continue to develop and evolve the rest of your life. Beliefs are established meanings. They could be more appropriately called definitions because they define what is real or not real, what is good or not good, what you like or don't like. There are four main ways that you have acquired your beliefs. They are by instinct, by assertion, by example, and by experience. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 8, Segment Number 5. Let your quest for knowing continue.